welcome to part eight of Julian Pinot, athletic coach versus Vicky Lee, success coach. Julian is a movement specialist to world-class athletes and featured guest on Barbell Shrugged. Vicky Lee is a success coach to CEOs and Dean's fellow at Harvard University. Julian's specialty is finding the key log, the one thing that will make or break an athlete. Throughout this eight video series, Vicky is going to find Julian's key log, the one thing holding him back from unlimited success. This is the final video of our eight part video series. Even though you cannot see it on film, both Julian and Vicky were emotional because they both felt the palpable presence of Julian's brother, Jerome, in the gym, even though he had died over 20 years ago. In this video, Julian finally realizes what it means to remove his key log. It means courage, the courage to look at his relationship with his brother in a totally new way. The natural progression of Julian's life would have been, I must go on without Jerome. The new engineered version of Julian's life is, I am moving forward with Jerome. He continues to live through me and my brand, Strong Fit. Okay, so what are you thinking or what are you feeling? Right now that my expectations of myself were too low. That I um, phrased it in a way like I'm going to change the world, yeah, but not with a small bridge. So that had... Um, Expectations were too low. So it's kind of scary because that <laughs> it was already scary enough to try to build a bridge, but so that's uh, a lot more. Rightfully so, by the way, but it's it's bigger and it's an entirely different outlook on, on life. So, yeah. Honestly, the first thing I'm going to do is try to balance the ratio because it's very imbalanced right now, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing will be to go to my brother's grave, obviously, in August. But the first thing is to balance my life. It's a different outlook. So I'll play with that. It sounds a lot more fun, by the way, because I can have hobbies and, and a lot more stuff. So okay, so what it's you... freeing. If you have been more balanced anyway, if you, if you had the courage to actually go and, you know, be, be Jerome and not whatever the Jedi is, he probably could have balanced his life. So if he had the courage mm -hmm. to be a person or to be himself, yeah. he would have lived. Yeah. He would have had balance. Mm -hmm. Did you have the courage to be yourself? or were you... Not all of it, no. Not all of it. I think I was better on it. The reason I live and it didn't because I was better at, do, at doing some of it, but not all of it, no. So you lived and you did pretty good, mm -hmm. just willing to be yourself but not all of it. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you went the whole full Monty. I'll be a lot better. You, right? Yeah. I think part of the key log also is, was I, um, did I keep my expectations lower because I thought I wasn't as smart as he was? Is that part of the key log? Is that, that I uh, cannot bring myself to think myself at his level? What's the answer to that question? I always call him the smart one. I was I, I was stronger than him at the end because I made it. He didn't. So, so smart doesn't survive. Why well, was it? Yeah. Now that's the question. Yeah. Strong he had a diff, different intelligence, but at the end, so will I accept to surpass him? Or will you accept to go with him? Yeah. Because the two of you together, again, is mm -hmm. far greater mm -hmm. than one or the other. So, I think that when you lost him, it wasn't that you weren't willing to be greater than him. It was that you weren't willing to go on without him. And the key log is this, that now you're willing to go with him. Dead or alive, he's coming. And he's building this relationship with the world through you. Mm -hmm. And now you're willing to be his container. Be cool. He just didn't have one. No. Now you're it. Didn't want to use the world. It's a little dirty. But he'll, he's fine with using you. A same, um, you know, same coin. 
Two faces. And now you're going to go out of his grave and because you're willing to accept this new relationship you have with him. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you for branding reasons. If CrossFit's a drug and 24 hours of comfort, what is strong fit? <laughs> the solution? The solution. It's a simple word, I like it. Solution. That's a good brand. Anything else? That's pretty powerful, I think. That's good. The solution, I like it. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I can't call it the solution, but then be a good title. <laughs> I know that some of your role models are like philosophers and all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a random question. What's Bruce Lee? If Actually, Owa Schultz is one too. Who? Owa Schultz, the owner of Starbucks. <laughs> because of um, the courage he had mm -hmm. to build Starbucks. At the, not Starbucks itself, it's not that. It's what, at the beginning to build it how he, he did it with the balls he had to do it like he he went worldwide right away he didn't take the natural progression no. he no, engineered he it from the from day one and that's there was such a power in his vision of it and such an intensity in it like he had the vision funny because it was coffee you would you know that doesn't it's like yeah i'm going to change the world to so coffee okay so you like these business people yeah because yeah the because they changed the way that people live. Yeah. They weren't Didn't like matter what in a small through, little yeah. niche of athletes or whatever. They ch he changed the world how people live. And I love the fact that he, yeah, there was no natural progression. He was like, nope, gotta make it. There was no natural yeah. progression. That's right. What do you call it? It's not natural progression. So what is it? Well, it's like the way uh, I was doing it, like one, one plus one plus one. Yeah. Why is the so that's natural progression. What do you call his way? <laughs> Me, the the courageous way. But um, how how we call it? The but, courageous uh, way. To to me, uh, well, it's um, how can I define it? It's not the correct way or courageous way, but it's the the visionary way, I guess. Visionary way or the creator. Yeah. Yeah. But man, the courage it takes. Ugh. Not not to do it, to have the courage to look at it like that. The courage to see it. Doing it is easy, but yeah. the courage to, to see it. Say, I'm going to do this like that. That's crazy. And 99% of your courage just doing this will give you the courage to see it. This is where your courage comes from. The courage to see your brother mm -hmm. in other people, in as many people as possible. If you're willing to see him again and feel all the feelings you feel. In other people? And try to make it different this time. That's your courage. And then it'll be easy to create a new You can do that. Moment. Yeah, well, I can do that. I mean, long lines. But yeah, I can do that. As you imagine if you connected with his energy? Remember you through said everybody. you had yeah. that conversation and you were communicating mm -hmm. to him through others? If you could just do that again and not see them, but see you communicating to Jerome through them, could you imagine how powerful that connection would be? You could create a new world. If you saw him through every people, if you related to your brother mm -hmm. through all of Then I could people. relate to the world instead of living in the cave, yeah. Yeah, because you're actually relating back to him. To the world instead of staying in the cave. And he'll manipulate yeah. that relationship so that you can create a new world.